Okay, you see. Oh, God. I love you, man. Yeah, I love you, bro. What is this? Keeping each other warm. Yeah? Because it's cold in Florida. It is, bro. It's pretty cold tonight. But you know what's really cool? Is today we got Ed the Eskimo. Straight, straight from Greenland, bro. Right. How you doing today, Eski? Good, good. As y'all can see, I'm the only one that looks at the temperature. You're right. <laughs> You're right. Cause look at the rest of us. We look at all wild and stuff. We got my wonderful wife, Heather Adams, down here. She, her head's down right now because she's upset because I made her match me today. Isn't that right? Are you doing okay? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> she's cold. <laughs> Oh, we got the wonderful, amazing Michaela Bonilla. Hi. Supernatural life. Yeah, they like seeing you. And we got Mr. Free 99 himself. How much is the gospel, baby? Free 99, baby. Yeah. Today's cold 99, though. Nah, cold 99. 99. Hey, I think we got uh, somebody coming out from the video tonight. I don't know where he's at, but we'll see. He should should be good. Hopefully he does come out. Yeah, yeah sure buddy. He, I'm sure he will. If he does come out, he'll get the taste of what the supernatural life look like. You know? Yeah. Save souls, baby. That's the key. Yep. Treasures up in heaven. Souls, souls, souls. That's good, man. Yep. That's good. <laughs> <laughs> got, got to keep the dome. Hey, you keep right. Dome warm. That, that thing got to stay warm, boy. All right, guys. Another episode of the Supernatural Life Revival in Crane's Roost, season two, episode twenty, and it is another cold night. But people are still out here exercising, like the guy that just went by me, and the kids are having fun, and uh, that we're enjoying this nice cold weather in Florida. So. That's the good part of being a Floridian. But guys, I want you to like, comment, share, and subscribe. I gotta say that on every video because I don't know who's viewing right now. You could be a new viewer. You gotta make sure you subscribe so that you can get notifications of all the new videos, you know? Um, we, look, this is what we're doing. So really why I'm talking right now is I wanna let you guys know we are expanding the supernatural life in a social media way. So, so what we're doing is I just started today a Facebook group called TSNL International. And I want you guys to be involved. So if you're part of the Supernatural Life and you're watching this right now, all you have to do is email Maria and let her know that you want to be a part of the TSNL International Facebook group because that's how we're gonna stay connected. Um, I'm gonna come on there and do like lives and stuff like that so that we can get to know each other a little bit better because it's great right here on YouTube, but it's also good to connect in other ways. So guys, if you wanna be a part of that group, make sure you just send my PA Maria an email and we will get to know each other a lot better. Man, I, I love the kingdom of God because I got family everywhere and that's why I made that page. And then you're gonna get to meet other people and connect with other people. That's what the kingdom's all about, discipleship, community and loving Jesus Christ with all our heart, soul, mind, body, everything. We just love Jesus, right? So guys, I'm expecting some really good encounters tonight. I really am. Even though it's cold, there's still people around. So let's just let Jesus do through our lives what he always does. And that is wreck people's lives with the power of the Holy Spirit. All right, let's rock. I just pray for him that whatever it is that's going on in his life, Father, that he is he's helper for. I pray that you would just you would just come into him and help him, Father. I pray, Lord, that you would just have your hand over his life, over his family, Father, over his finances, over his friends, Father God. Lord, I pray for freedom in Jesus' mighty name, Father. I pray, Holy Spirit, that you would touch his heart right now. In Jesus' name. Amen. Peace and comfort. And just guide us, Father. Guide him on that right now. Father, in his Jesus' name. I guess Michaela started it off, huh? Started it off? Yeah, she started it off. 
There you go. Yeah, Michaela was praying for him, boy. There you go. That's what I'm talking about. Yeah, but Devon, Devin. Yeah. yeah. What's up, man? What's up? Hey, they know who you are, man. So for <laughs> look, this is huge, though. It is. I'm gonna tell you why this is so big, because not many times do you see somebody touched and then they're out here doing the works. So this is big for the supernatural life to see this, man, you know? And you just shared a great testimony of what Jesus is doing, man. Oh, yeah. So how do you feel, bro? I feel amazing, man. I really feel amazing. Um, I've been like just high on the Holy Spirit for days, for days, man. So it's, it's a blessing. It really, it's really a blessing. I'm trying to hold on to it as long as I can. You know, like eventually, like, you know, the world kind of starts to like weigh you down a little bit, but I'm holding as long as I can, hey. man, until I need that next recharge. Not when you're hanging with us, homie. Yeah, man, just keep we it keep up. keep that fire it's burning, baby. Up, I like to keep it burning, man. <laughs> Come on. I love it. I love it. <laughs> and you got Mr. Free 99 over here, boy. Yeah, we You know, here. we good. Yeah. Hey, where we at? Crane's Roots. That's right. The harvest field. Yeah, it's ripe. Well, the fruit is ripe. Yeah. Let me, go, let me go back over here to your wife real fast. Oh, right, here we go. So what was that about? That came out of nowhere. I don't think you want to know this story. Know. Oh, that's an old story? No, no, no. No, that was, he was trying to create a new story. But oh! The one was already created. <laughs> oh, but you, you turned it into a better situation. I did, I did. Yo, homeboy was brave, wasn't he? He was, very. Yo. <laughs> very. Hey, it don't matter, man. You just showed the world Amen. how to turn those situations <laughs> into something amazing Amen. with Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. And, <laughs> and then Angel didn't jump him, so that just says a lot, Angel right? Angel didn't say anything. Yeah. Yeah. Hey, pray, praise God he didn't, you know? Yeah. You the, hey. I thought it was somebody named Kayla Nokis. You know Altamont, just like I know Apophis. Yeah. So. Well, you would have prayed for him anyway, right? right. right. You're right. I'd have given him the Holy Fist. The Holy Fist? <laughs> oh, no. I'm just kidding. Oh, no. I'm just kidding. Oh, gosh. Don't judge me, dog. Don't, no, I'm just kidding. Don't 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 hey, that's your wife, boy. We got to protect them wives, boy. Right. Right. That's serious. Yeah. I don't feel like stopping it. I feel like Ed's got info. <laughs> Nothing. I have info. It's better than listening to talk. I have yeah? info. Go buy Supernatural oh, Life hoodies right now. This oh. is the promo. <laughs> Let me see. Oh wow, man, that's a good-looking couple right there. Yeah, but go buy the hoodies. Yeah, we should, man. So we're gonna we're, we're gonna not we're not we're trying we're not trying to sell ourselves. It's just yeah. the hoodies. But, but we're gonna we're already sold. We're gonna advertise this soon, guys, so you can get you a Supernatural Life hoodie. Amen. You know the one that Heather's wearing right now. You know they they're gonna be ready for you guys to pick up here pretty soon. Anyway, back to business. Okay, so thank you, Lord, that you know she just brings so much light, even when she doesn't realize it, Father God. She just brings so much joy and light to people. Lord, I just pray right now, uh, first of all, over her, her ankle and her toes, Father God. Lord, I pray healing in the name of Jesus, Father. I pray that every tendon and ligament would line up, every bone to be healed in Jesus' mighty name. No more pain, no more swelling. I pray right now that she would be able to walk again and walk normally in Jesus' name. That she would be able to take off this boot, have no pain, nothing coming against her. Lord, we curse whatever the enemy is trying to bring upon her in Jesus' name. Even though she slipped and fell, Father, I just pray, Lord, that even that trauma would leave in Jesus' mighty name. Lord, I thank you for healing her in, in Jesus' name. And Lord, we also just pray over her, her family, Father God. And whatever is going on with this move, Lord, we pray that you would open doors and opportunities for them, Father. That the keys would be given to them, Father. That they would have more than enough in abundance, Lord. I pray that, you know, just a miracle. I pray for a miracle that mighty things would happen, Father. That you would change things around, Father God. That nothing would postpone them any longer, Father. And I pray that you would just you would just walk with them, Father God. Guide them on the right path, Lord. I pray for restoration in the family, Lord. Whatever family drama is going on right now, Father, I just pray against that right now in Jesus' name. I pray that there would be um, even a peace, Lord. I pray that there would be a peace, Father, that there would be no more fights, Father God, no more arguing. I pray all burdens to be lifted off their chests and shoulders in Jesus' name. I pray that they would even be able to sleep better at, light, at night. Jay and Ruth, Father, I pray that they would even be able to sleep better, Lord. And I just even... Um, 
and just even here like the finances the finances i pray you know just better finances or even job opportunities father so i just thank you for that lord i thank you for this wonderful couple and i thank you for all the amazing things that you're you're waiting to bless them with father so holy, holy spirit i pray just uh, just a miracle in this in this uh, family father in jesus mighty name we pray amen amen, amen. yeah you're so welcome you're so welcome how do you feel you feel better can i hug you absolutely <laughs> What did, what did she just say? So the pain is gone. Yeah. Her left foot gone. She yeah. said she said she felt the pain a couple minutes ago and we prayed for it and completely healed. She's gonna go back to her MRI uh, doctor and they're gonna say completely healed, no pain. Come on, Jesus. Man. I pray no more pain in Jesus' name at all. I pray that you take off your boot and you be like, oh my gosh, like I oh. throw it in the air that'd like so a bouquet. Amazing. Yeah, that'd be so amazing. <laughs> <laughs> that'd be so amazing. Yeah. Yeah. We're gonna ask the Holy Spirit, because you're already a believer. <laughs> Jesus Christ is in your heart, right? I'm gonna ask him to do two things. I'm gonna ask him to touch you. And number two, I'm gonna ask him to reveal his heart for you. So I'm gonna see if God has anything to say to you. Is that cool? That's cool. All right, let me pray. Alright, so Father, I thank you for Dan. I pray right now, in Jesus' name. Holy Spirit, anoint him. Fill him. More. Break through every wall. It's against yourself. I hear the Lord, he's saying, against himself, against himself. The battle has always been against yourself, man. Come closer. The battle's always been against yourself. So I pray right now, the battles of self to go right now. All the self-doubt, man. All the question marks you have against yourself, man. Wondering where to go, what to do, your footsteps and all that stuff. I command it to go right now. And because you're anointed as a leader, man. You're anointed. You're not a follower. I hear that. You're not a follower. You're a leader. You always got to check things out before you step into something. So, Father, I thank you for that about Darren. I thank you that you've made him a leader, Lord. But I pray right now the voice of doubt, the voice of all the stuff that attacks him. Also, this creative stuff, man. I see so much creativity. I all the word behind you, creativity go behind you. I don't know if it's something with music, man, but I'm seeing that, bro. So, Father, I just pray right now you anoint the gift. Is it music, bro? Yeah. Yeah? Yeah? Is it singing? Uh, I want to get into rapping. Rapping? So, okay. Yeah. So, Father, I pray you anoint this gift of music upon his life. Yeah. Right now. In Jesus' name. And Lord, may nothing negative influence this, this walk and this drive that he has and the worship part that he has too, Father. So Father, bless him. Bless him, bless him, bless him in Jesus' name. Amen. Was there anything when I was praying that touched your heart? Everything that you said. Yeah? Yeah. Was it on point? Definitely on point. Yeah? yeah. So tell me what I what, what, what I was saying against yourself. Is that a big thing? Yeah. Are you holding any unforgiveness toward yourself for anything? Because I want to show you something. Let me show you something. Take my hand. Watch. So say this. Say, Holy Spirit. Holy Spirit. Touch me. Touch me. Watch. Touch him, Holy Ghost. Did you feel anything? On my heart. Okay. I'm going to tell you why. Because I can tell when the Holy Spirit starts to encounter somebody. So what it is, is you have something in your heart against yourself. I don't know if it's doubt towards yourself, if you're having trouble with the connection right here. I don't know what it is. But is there something that you're walled up on, that you're holding back, that you're not allowing God to move in your life on, anything like that? Specific. Yeah, I'd say it as a whole. As a whole? With you? Yeah. Okay. So I'm going to do you a favor, all right? Watch. Lord, you take the heart of stone and you give us a heart of flesh. He's, see how your heart's beating fast? Yeah, bro. Holy Spirit, do it for him. Free him from this thing, man. I command right now for Dan complete freedom, man. In Jesus' name. No more holdbacks, bro. No more holdbacks. This barrier that's been in your way, that make when you take those steps forward, those steps back come, that God's going to remove that, man. Them barriers aren't going to be there anymore. God's going to work in your life in a mighty way. I command every spirit of sabotage that's been, been against him, I command that you go. You will live and not die, says the Lord. So, Father, I thank you for Darren. Yeah, bro. <laughs> I know you felt that too, didn't you? Yeah, you will live and not die. 
you will live and not die. I command every traumatic spirit that came in through those accidents, leave his body now. Up and out, come on, come on, come on, come out, come out you traumatic spirit. Leave him, leave him, leave him now, now, now. All of it, all of it, yep, yep, all of it. Go, 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 go. Yep, there it comes, bro. It's gonna come right on out. All the way, all the way, all the way, all the way. Jesus name, Jesus name, Jesus name. Freedom, 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 freedom. Yeah, all of it, all of it, all of it, yep. Go, bro, it's gonna come right up the top of you. One, two, three. Out, out, all of it. Yep, all of it. All of it. There you go. How you feel, bro? Tell me how you feel. Oh, bro. I love you, man. I love you, bro. I love you. Father, I pray right now he encounters the Father's love. I pray right now everything that's been holding this man back, the anger that he's had in his heart that nobody sees, I command it off of him right now in Jesus' name. Man. The Father wounds, all that stuff, man. I command it to release him. Work in this man's life, Lord. Let nothing stop him. Nothing will stop him, man. The world is yours, bro. In Jesus' name. Amen, bro. Loves you, bro. Loves you, bro. <laughs> Loves you, man. Let it go. Let it all go. Man. Let that weight go. Man. All of it, bro. No need to hold it. Good encounters tonight. Great encounters. Yeah. More than good. Okay. What are we about to do now? Oh, we gotta go to uh, Bay Ridge. Get a little bit of sushi. Yeah. Gotta get that duck roll, a little bit of cranberry sauce on the top. Yeah. You know what I mean? I feel you. I feel you. Gotta get it. Gotta get it. You know, after after what God did out here, we gotta fill our stomachs up, right? Yeah. You know? <laughs> Yeah, the heavenly sushi, right? I deserve it. Nice to meet you, too, yeah. Amazing, man. What'd you, what you think, Devin? Look at Devin. Uh, a good night? Hey, it's a beautiful night. Beautiful night, man. God is good. God is good. All yeah. the time. All the time, bro. All the time. Hey, yeah. Michaela, we're going to end the night. 
Dang, already? Well, how was that encounter? That was a good one, right? That was incredible. Yeah. She, so she she went through like a lot of things as I did as a child. So like as soon as I I felt like the Lord put her her mother on my heart, and I was like, oh crap. So I I prayed for her, and, and she said that she just felt the presence of God so strong, and so she was like, that was incredible, and she was like, thank you, and yes, it was cool. It was really cool. And she's young, like oh. The kids. I think I'm called to the kids. <laughs> oh, no. Called to the kid, the younger generation, which is a good thing. It's a good thing because you're. It's the future. You're bringing them up. So we gotta encourage, uplift, and edify each other uh, higher than ourselves. Hey, Esteem man. each other higher than ourselves. So. Come on. Yeah. Amen. Amen. All right, guys. Another awesome night with the Holy Ghost, man. You know, I. I I'm just always amazed because, like, you're praying with somebody. Jesus is really touching them, setting them free of stuff. And then you get a great big hug, man. You know, love, the love of God covers a multitude of sins and will change people in an instant, man. So guys, with that being said, that same love that hit out here in the harvest field, I give it to you, man, in the name of Jesus Christ. I'll see you guys on the next episode.